the whole idea of inexpensive touchscreen sensitive phones has turned out quite a hit and the proof is the ongoing success of the LG Cookie. We are about to introduce you to its arch rival, the Samsung Star S5230. It delivers almost the same specifications, weight and functionality, but looks more shiny and polished. The phone sports a 3-inch display with a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels that provides proper image quality in artificial light conditions but turns into immaculate mirror in direct sunlight and things are impossible to discern. Its resistive display is responsive but seems a step behind what the competition has come up with. The three buttons below are large, have enough travel and pressing them feels nice and easy which goes for all other buttons on its sides, with our only gripe being the volume rocker requires some effort to press properly. The phone sports the standard port for the manufacturer used for both charging and connecting it to a computer and not a mainstream micro USB port. The camera is on its back side and unfortunately you have to remove the battery to gain access to the micro SD slot. Samsung has kept the tradition and the Star S5230 comes running the well-known TouchWiz interface. There are three separate home screens to place widgets of your choosing and you can set one and the same wallpaper on all three screens. If you drag a widget outside the active area it's moved to and appears on the next screen which actually reminds of Android devices. There's a bunch of preloaded widgets, but it's the one that allows you to download and install additional widgets that we find most appealing. All menus sport colorful icons and look quite cheery. When you get to the main menu, you see the middle icon at the bottom has been changed and now leads to your photo contacts. The option is different from what we saw on the Omnia HD and is more simple. A vertical scroll list that shows contact pictures. We are pretty disappointed with the searching in the phone book because it feels clumsy and is unfortunately not performed as you type letters in. Thankfully there is a slider on the left that filters entries by the first letter of the contact name and we believe this is the best way to find a particular contact fast. Typing away messages like SMS, MMS and email can be done with the standard phone keypad through activating handwriting recognition or with the full software quality keyboard. You can get it on screen really easy. You just turn the phone in landscape mode. We are pleased with its quality but we need to point out that since the keys are not exactly large people with thicker fingers might find them somewhat difficult to press. The Samsung Star provides internet connectivity through Edge just like its competitor so loading pages is anything but fast. We are happy to see a WebKit powered web browser that supports Java and Flash. Page rendering is fast enough and the lack of pan view is not immediately obvious since most pages are loaded in birds view mode anyway. You need to double tap the screen to zoom in on things or alternatively keep your finger pressed against the screen until context menu pops up allowing you to zoom. Despite what the manufacturer claims, not all flash elements are displayed correctly. Certain pages are visualized properly while others fail to, for no reason in particular. Another gripe we have with the browser is that text is not rearranged and squeezed together to fit the new frame size when you zoom in on something. The interface of the 3.2 megapixel camera looks downbeat and out of place amongst the colorful cherry menus, but it's at least very easy to get used to and we do like the photo block function that allows you to share any snapshot right away on six popular service providers, namely Facebook, Picasa, Flickr, Photobucket, Friendster and MySpace with just two screen taps. The camera delivers awesome picture quality for an added mid-range feature coming on a shoestring budget device. 
You can see full size test pictures in the review on our website. The phone also has a music player that offers several options to filter music and its interface strikes with neither overall design nor amazing functionality. The Samsung Star comes with an FM RDS radio with simplified interface but measures up to its task so you need not worry you would miss out on breaking news or your favorite radio talk shows. As a whole the Samsung Star is a decent phone for people on budget that features a touch sensitive screen, really good camera and spotless functionality. There are two major issues we just cannot turn a blind eye to. They are the downright bad in call quality and the polling battery performance. These are two of the most major aspects of any phone so that is why we would rather opt for the LG Cookie that seems to be much better in this regard. Plus it has a more responsive screen. Please read our full review on phonearena.com to find out more.